Hello, I'm Kaylin Penberthy, a lead product manager in research and development, and I'm responsible for SEL's automated data collection solutions. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing our first software-based password rotation solution called Credential Management. Credential Management is a part of the Data Management and Automation, or DMA, application suite available on the SEL Blueframe platform. Today, I'm going to give a brief demonstration of Credential Management, as well as Blueframe's interface for engineering access to highlight some of the key features and benefits that support compliance and cybersecurity efforts. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into credential management. In credential management, I already have a plan set up that's going out and rotating the credentials on my devices. So you can see here in this plan, I've provided a name just so I can understand what this plan is doing in my system as I go and look at any diagnostics information related to it. Here under type, I'm presently selected on the SEL devices, direct password rotation. Additionally, if you do have 3620s or 3622s in your system, we will continue to support um, password rotation with those devices. But the big one that I'm highlighting today is this direct password rotation. The initial plan execution just specifies when we want this plan to execute for the first time. So you can come in and configure this and also configure it to actually rotate these passwords at a future point in time. Once it's executed for the initial time, the schedule will kick in and start to take over. So here you can see I have the schedule set to rotate every three months on the 10th at 12 p.m. So after the first of the month, it will start rotating every three months. Here under password types, it's going to automatically select random per resource. What we do here is since we understand the model type of the devices that we're managing credentials on, um, based on that model type, we understand the complexity that the device will support and so we automatically generate up a random password to the complexity level and then issue that to the device. The last thing that we have to do is associate the resources that we actually want to rotate these credentials on. And so I have about 50, 651 R's associated with this plan. There are some instances where you might want to add exceptions to how your passwords are being managed in the system. And so that's what we have here with manage exceptions. There's two primary use cases that we typically talk about when we look at managing exceptions around devices. Um, the first example being, typically we see some of our customers wanting to have a common level one or ACC level password for their devices. That way, anytime they have a technician walking into their substation, the, that technician knows that they can plug into the device and access the ACC level with this known common password for their utility. So that's what I've done here. I've gone ahead and set that level one password up with a known password, and I've given it no end date. So what that means is it will always remain at Otter until I come in and remove this exception or set a new end date. The other common example we have for managing exceptions is being able to set up a password for a contractor, for example, coming into your system. So here what I've done is I've set up the level two to a known password for my contractor that's coming in, and I've also set an end date. So that way when I know he's done with his work, he's leaving on the 7th, I can have the system automatically generate a new randomized password and issue that to the device. And so we'll automatically do that once this end date has been hit. So with those exceptions being managed on my plan, the system will go ahead and take over and run this plan on the schedule that you've defined. At that point, then you can have your administrators come into the system and there's a couple of different ways that they can view the active passwords on the devices. The first one being here in our archive tool. So within the archive, there's two different report types that we have support for. First one being password audit report. So I've actually generated that up over here in a separate tab. This audit report is useful when you need to support your compliance efforts. So this report here, what it does is it shows for a specific time period for the devices that I've selected, have the passwords changed or not. So that way, if you need to support your compliance efforts, you can pull this report up and show that yes, my passwords have changed within the specified time period that they are required to change within. The other report type that we have is the current password report. So this report is going to show the active passwords for all of the specified devices that I pull into the report. So here you can see on this 651R1, this is where I had that exception set up for it. So if I go ahead and show my passwords, you can see that level one and that level two password that I showed in the previous screen. So all of these active passwords within these, this particular report is managed by advanced permissions. So within Blueframe, you can set up the role-based access control system, and then that's populated through the Blueframe platform. So here in the Credential Management Archive, I can see those same roles and then specify the access to view passwords based on that role. 
And if I come down here to my second 651R, I'll just show you those randomly generated passwords that it supports so you can see that they are something different than our SEL standard level one and level two password. The other way that your administrators can see the active passwords on devices would be to go into resource management. So here in resource management, I'll go ahead and switch over to my connection where those passwords are associated. And you can see here I have the ability to show my passwords. So again, you can see that those are those randomized passwords that I have generated. Again, these passwords are also protected by advanced permissions, so you can specify exactly who has the ability to see these active passwords. So as we look at this solution as a whole and come full circle, right, we have the um, data management and automation credential management, rotating those passwords and associating new passwords for your devices. They're being stored in resource management and associated with those devices. And resource management is really that hub across the entire Blueframe platform for access to your devices. And so those passwords are being stored and saved there for use across the entire system. And so now you might be looking at, okay, how do I manage and ensure secure engineering access to my devices? And that's where our direct resource access application comes into play. So those are set up here through the sessions. This session is set up to give me a terminal connection out to my 651R. And you can see right now only my admin has access to this. I could additionally associate my operator or my engineer to have access to this engineering access session, but right now it's just my administrator. So once those sessions are configured, at that point the user would go over to our direct resource access application. I'll come in here and you can see all of those sessions that I have available to me. If I come into my 651R and I'll go ahead and connect up to that terminal session, you can see here I have a terminal that's fairly standard and by default, our system will automatically authenticate the user to the ACC level. So they can issue any of those read level type commands like a status or an ID command. So the other common scenario with credential management and having that managed by a system is the ability to access the devices with a configuration software tool. So for example, Quickset. And we do have the ability here with credential management and direct resource access in this entire solution to proxy connections through. And so you can initiate a session here in direct resource access and then connect through with quick set out to your device so you can send and receive settings as, as you would expect. Thank you for watching this brief introduction to SEL's credential management solution in the DMA application suite. Please reach out to your local automation application engineer for more information about deploying credential management in your system and visit the SEL support video portal for more detailed walkthroughs of the software. Thank you.